Good morning. Um, we're not going to the gym this morning. We're gonna go later this afternoon because Hamish is doing study this morning. It's crap weather outside. It's just started raining. Um, just probably gonna have a chill day. Might do some decluttering filming or something. But right now, I am actually going to be putting up my BH Cosmetics launch video. Really excited, but stupidly nervous. Like, I'm so nervous to see what people are gonna say about it. This looks so red, but it's gone down so much. It's cause I was bad and I picked off the dry skin off the top. You know, when you use too much of that like pimple drying out stuff, it just dries out your skin. Yeah, and then I picked it. But the actual pimple's almost gone, which is good. And this one's almost flat too. Yay. Got up at about 7.20. It's now 8.15. Cause I've been procrastinating in bed as you do. Okay, let's do this. What's going on? What's in there with you? Your soccer ball? Hmm? This is not okay. Ugh. I want this jacket so bad because I saw Chloe Morello wearing it in a picture and I'm, you know how much I love denim jackets. The only size to the size large. <laughs> I need a small or medium i'd probably go a medium so it was like what well, is it does it fit oversized i don't know relaxed fell yes so i probably would go the small because i'm a size 10 up top i can't find a size 10 anywhere if any of you guys find a size 10 of this jacket or a size small or whatever even a size medium i'd put up with it being a bit bigger um please send me the link <laughs> okay so i did a little bit of editing and stuff this morning put up my video and the response has been amazing so thank you guys so much i'm so excited oh my gosh it's only like 10 days away or something like that while I'm filming this vlog. Even closer for you guys while you're watching this. <laughs> I'm so excited. So now I'm going to do a declutter of all my MAC lipstick. So here's my little before. My camera set up. Yes, my room is still a mess, but that's why I'm filming these videos. I promised this video next, so gotta do this first. And then I'm going to do some more declutters. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Look at this. Um, I'm gonna do like a tabletop declutter putting away my makeup kind of video too. Oh my freaking god, Carly Bible pulling through. Literally was just looking for a jacket just like this. Yes, you know I'm buying it. <laughs> so I just finished my declutter and look how little I got down to. <laughs> That's it. From these whole two drawers. That's it. These were both fill to the rim with like extras flying around everywhere. Figured out there was about 350 lipsticks. So, <laughs> you know, just a few. So now what I'm going to do to finish off um, like I'm not actually filming this for my main channel, but I'm just gonna go through all these lipsticks and separate them all up into ones that need to be binned because there's like only there's only like five or six that need to be binned. I should have really organized it while I went, but I was just trying to get through the filming pretty quickly because it already took me like a couple hours to film. Um, I need to separate the ones I need to throw away, and then I'm gonna separate some of the real bright colors and put those aside for my hairdresser because my hairdressing salon enters heaps of competitions. They always need really bright lipstick, like weird lipstick colors and stuff for the photo shoots. So I thought that any of the like unwearable shades can go to her for photo shoots and then all of the wearable ones that are like almost brand new can go to look good feel better which is most of them and then a few of them that have been used a little bit more I'm going to let my friends look through so that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to obviously put all of the original caps back on um, the lipsticks and then yeah that's all done. Only a little part of my collection, but hey, at least I got something done right. And you guys have been wanting to see this video for so long. So yeah, it should be good. Still need to clean all this though. These are for friends and the hairdresser, rubbish, and then donating. So many lipsticks. Piles and piles and piles. 
While I'm here, I'm just going to declutter all of these Buxom lipsticks that I have sitting on the ground. I did a sponsored video for Buxom ages ago with these lipsticks and really like them. I just don't reach for them because, again, there's just so many colors and I need to just kind of pick my favorite ones so they actually go for them. Because you know what I mean? When you've got so many colors and so many lipsticks, you don't go searching through them often. You just kind of go for, like, the same ones every time rather than actually experimenting. So this first one's the Matte Ultraviolet. I'm going to donate that one. I'm just going to keep like my favorite kind of colors, I think, because yeah, I've got so many lipsticks. Oh, I really like this color. This one's a matte and defiant bloom. It's really pretty. Might keep that one. This one, this is just a red I'm going to donate because I just kept so many MAC red lipsticks. I'm going to go through all the matte ones first. This one here is called Bink, Bink? Pink Decoy. It's like a hot pink. I'm going to donate it. Um, dark purple I'll donate. What's this one? I might keep this one. I remember loving this one. This is Naturally Daring, which is a beautiful light pink, but it's kind of muted, so it's quite wearable. Okay, Evocative Petal. Oh my gosh, I love that color. It's like a deep terracotta red. I'm gonna keep it. Then we've got Ruby Temptress, which is a dark brown, like a reddish brown. I'm gonna donate that one. Um, I'm gonna donate all the like super dark colors that I don't wear often. A, like hot pink i used to like that one but i'm going to donate it i think red inferno which is like a muted red but i'll donate it because i keep something like that from the mac ones i love this one this is called sinful cinnamon so nice do they still sell these like i don't even know and then this one's called wildfire it's like a really hot orangey red i'm gonna keep that one just because i'm a sucker for those colors even though i have so many of them but whatever and then the rest are all the like sheet um not sheer like creamy finishes this one's so nice nude exposure i'm gonna keep how many do i keep five i think i'm gonna try and keep only five of the sh um creamy finish ones so that i've got five of each i'm also gonna keep coral confession Poison Nectar, Guilty Angel, and then Sultry Mauve. I need to go to the gym. I put on makeup for the gym today because I felt so self-conscious for some reason. I don't know why. So I put on BB cream and um, Gimme Brow and a little mascara. Not like you can tell I put on like the smallest amount so it didn't really look like I was wearing mascara because I couldn't find my tinted brow primer by Benefit. So I was just like, I just put on like the thinnest coat. <sighs> I don't know. I felt like really gross today i don't know like one of those days where i was just like i don't want people to look at me don't look at me i opened some packages because i haven't done that in ages there's a few packages here and i'm just not mentally ready to do another pr unboxing i wasn't looking at what i was doing and i started patting my pillow my cushion because i thought it was zeus <laughs> i was like that doesn't feel very soft zeus has got knots and then i realized it was a pillow hi yeah I'm going to clean out the gutter room. Yes, we need to do that this weekend. How are we going to do it? Are you going to help me? You told me I have to hold the okay, letter. Oh, sweet. Good. You said you will now. Good, good. I don't want to. If Hamish falls off the letter, it's my fault. Okay. We've got... Ow. There's a staple, be careful. This is the Inica Organic Lip Glaze and a lip serum. That sounds kind of epic. I want to have a look. Ooh, it's yellow. <laughs> Sorry, this lighting's really ugly. Don't eat it. Mmm, it's really smooth. It's not sticky. It feels good. Castor seed, shea butter, candelilla uh, wax. Jojoba oil, orange essential oil, which I can definitely smell, sunflower seed oil, rose hip oil, hemp seed extract. I bought Granddad the hemp hemp seed like balm from the body shop. I was like, here you go, Granddad, I bought you some weed. And he thought it was hilarious. I know it's not the same thing, don't worry. Um, just taking the piss, but anyway. And then this is a lip gloss, which I probably it's not really my colour. It's like a bronze, so I'm going to put that back in the box and donate it. It's in the shade Cappuccino. What's in this one, Zussie? Hmm? 
Okay, next up is something from Bear PR. We worked out our arms today, so if I'm sitting real weird with my arms, that's why. I'm like, it was such a pretty face. Okay. Nude by nature. My boobs are about to come out. Cute! It's like a Christmas present. Louie, it's a Christmas present. What's that? What is that? Why are they sniffing it? It doesn't smell like anything to me. Hold on, let me shut the um, curtain. Maybe the lighting will be a bit better. Look at you sitting so patiently. Okay, is that better? No, not really. Okay, so this is the Nude by Nature First Light Sheer Glow Beauty Collection. Um, so it goes for $69.95, but it's actually valued at $136.75. And you get a Sheer Glow BB Cream, a Liquid Mineral Concealer, a defining mascara, a touch of glow highlight stick and champagne, and you get the case as well, of course, which is actually a really cute case. I like it. It's like real sturdy, good for travel, so it won't get like super squashed. I don't know why they were sniffing that so much. It's so weird. Look at Louis behind me, it looks like a bowling pin. Woo! My glasses came. I'm doing another um, glasses tutorial with Glasses USA. You guys really liked my last one, at least that's what the comments said. So I'm going to do a round two of a more dramatic look this time. I love these glasses. They're really good quality. If only I had heaps of these pairs like before I got my laser. <laughs> oh, I like these ones. Something from the body shop here. I love the body shop lately. Not like I never didn't love the body shop, but I don't know. What does this say? Shannon, we know you love our Chinese ginseng and rice clarifying mask. They must have seen my unboxing. I mean, not my unboxing, my... Um, declutter video because I like raved about it. So I thought you might like to try out two new additions. Polishing powder, that sounds kind of good, and milky toner. All three of our Chinese ginseng and rice products are 100% vegan. So you'll be happy about that Lou. And we'll leave your skin looking super bright and feeling smooth. I'm all about this life. Watch my face mask decluttering if you haven't yet. I know it's 15 minutes long. Soz. I only saw like one hate comment and I thought it was hilarious. They were like, how disrespectful. Respect your followers. No one has time to watch this. So this is Clarifying Polishing Powder Wash. Is it kind of like, you know that Dermalogica like exfoliating powder that you like, maybe it's like that. And then this is the Clarifying Milky Toner. I'm terrible at toners, but I kind of want to try it still because I love the Chinese ginseng rice range. Maybe I'll do the mask tonight so you can see what it looks like. It's quite gentle, but so effective so yeah if I remember I'll do that I need to have a shower so milky toner that removes traces of makeup and cleanser Ooh, okay no I might actually like that then if it removes makeup even your skin tone leaves skin feeling smooth and revitalized revealing a healthy looking luminous glow exciting thank you body shop yes finally finally these are the Halloween shades so if I get time I will definitely do a kiss me video this one's from Kat Von D is holiday on it so I'm assuming it's their Christmas collection. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cool. Eh? I don't even know what it is yet and I'm like yeah it's cool. Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. Oh and it comes with the perfumes like the mini side. Oh that's handy. It's good for the purse. Love this side. Oh my gosh. I actually really like those colors. There's like a lime green. This could come in very handy for my um what am I doing like crystal series gemstone series. Then we have two giant boxes from Jouer. Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation available from the 17th of October. I don't know why, but I thought that was Katie at first. <laughs> so if you want a first impression, feel free to let me know. There is oh, a whole lot of shades there for me to choose from. The deepest shades are not super dark. I'd say they go to like a medium skin tone. However, the light color is very light. I don't know if you can see on camera like how pale it goes and it's not gonna focus super super light so that's the lightest color and then i think this is the deepest and then there's like a million different shades in the kind of light medium range i would say so yeah if you want a first impression just let me know and it also comes with a little brush in here and a cream eyeliner okay this box is a lot lighter i just gave myself a cardboard cut the Jouer Lips Longwear Lip Cream Sheer oh, and Sheer Pigment Lip Glosses. Ooh, pretty box. So here are some of the shades. 
So these are just their lip creams. Yeah, I need to go through and declutter all my lip creams. I've got so many slash I could do lip swatches or something and this really hurts. Um, these are lip liners. So they come in 14 matte and metallic shades, which is kind of cool. And these come in 14 shades. They're $16. It says these are the lab samples. So they're a little bit more fragile than normal. So just keep that in mind. Oh my gosh, the packaging looks to die for. So beautiful. So I will for sure be trying these out in a first impression video. There's a few kind of nudes and pinks and stuff. There's a couple deeper shades. Um, and then some like really fun kind of like full metallic inspired shades. So we have a nail polish. This is actually a stunning shade. It's like a muted kind of purplish grayish pinkish color. Like what would you call that? Come on. Camera is so slow to focus. There we go. Um, it's called Morven On Up. Yeah, I guess it's like a pale mauve. So pretty. And then we've got False and Fled Mascara. We have a brush on lash fiber mascara. I'm not usually a fan of those. Not gonna lie. Um, a invisible lip liner. And then we have... Ooh, I'm excited to try this one though. This is Silky Fiber for your brows. So I think it's kind of like, give me a brow. This is in light medium. And then we have the Absolute Precision Eyeliner Pen. And then the final thing is a foundation. Is this the same one I got seen last time? I'm excited to try it. I think it'll suit me when I've got no fake tan on. Um, I've got another one in my drawer that I've been dying to try as well. So we'll have to give it a go. It's vegan. That's what I'm um, planning on doing soon too. Maybe after Halloween's like season's over. Um, I'm hoping to get at least like two or three Halloween tutorials up. I've got one ready. So if I can do another like one or two, I'll be happy. But yeah, I really want to do a full face vegan makeup tutorial. Because I just think it'd be fun to see like what products are vegan. I'm going to like search on Sephora vegan. Because like I was quite surprised. I saw something the other day when I was doing my ingredient. I mean my ingredients list. My products list for my description box on one of my tutorials. And I like, you know, I was just finding the links and everything for you guys. And one of them, it, like, said vegan on it. I was like, that's vegan? Like, I didn't even, like, I had no clue. Like, there's so many good vegan makeup. With EXO Beauty, a lot of the makeup's actually vegan as well. It says on each product page. So, yeah, that's all the mail I've got for now. I think there's actually a few more packages in my spare room. But I'm just going to leave it here for now because that was fun. And I need to get rid of all this recycling.